I'm here in Olympic Village on the shores of False Creek. The infrastructure here designed for 2010, but it already won't be able to keep up with sea level rise and coastal flooding in the next few decades. And that's why the city of Vancouver chose this location to share the culmination of phase one of the sea to city design project where two design teams share their vision for a more sustainable and more resilient communities along False Creek. It's also about integrating and communicating with the public, raising awareness about climate change for communities that live along False Creek. What did that look like? An intergenerational photo gallery and the town choir, literally a town crier. Singing live observations from artists in coastal communities around the world. Vancouver, Brooklyn, Mumbai, and Tokyo sharing their thoughts about a world of rising sea levels. So what does the future of False Creek look like according to these design teams? Well, a big part of the process was working with Indigenous communities. Of course, Vancouver is situated on the unceded territories of the Squamish, Musqueam and Tsleil-Waututh nations, the stewards of this land and water for centuries. And it was working to bring back Indigenous uh, practices and also flora and fauna. Uh, this part, it was a, uh, has huge cultural significance for these communities and in the next 5, 10, 20 years, False Creek might look a lot more like the North Shore with cedars and salmon bush, salmonberry bushes. It's also uh, integrating water testing, water flow, managing pH, lo pH levels, so things you can see and not necessarily see in the future. That future is maybe four to 10 years away. After this phase one is complete, the city of Vancouver will be taking pilot projects from these two design teams and hopefully integrating them in the near future. Johanna Wagstaff, CBC News, False Creek.